Hi, and thank you for choosing Card Studio 2.0. This video explains how you can encode your smart card using Card Studio 2.0. Encoding a smart card requires the Card Studio 2.0 Professional Edition. Card Studio 2.0 Professional offers Design Studio, Print Studio, and the Smart Card Editor. The Smart Card Editor allows you to create encoding files. Besides the correct Card Studio 2.0 Edition, you also need a set of smart cards. Card Studio 2.0 Professional supports MyFair Classic, MyFair Plus, Desfire, UHF Gen 2, and iClass, usually in CR80 standard size. In this video, we use a Zebra ZC350 equipped with an Elatec encoder. To find out if your ZC350 has the right functionality and smart card encoder configuration, please use the Zebra smart card utility tool that can be downloaded at www.zebra.com forward slash card SDK. With the Card Studio 2.0 Professional, the smart card editor, the correct smart cards and card printer with compatible encoder, you are ready to get started. Open an existing Print Studio project. If you do not have a project yet, create one using our video tutorial How to Start a New Project or use the example project that's included with each new installation of Card Studio 2.0. In order to encode smart cards, link an encoding file to the project. In this tutorial, a MyFair Classic 1K encoding file is created using the Smart Card Editor. Watch our Smart Card Editor video tutorials to learn how to create specific encoding files. Go to Edit, Project Settings, and select Encoding Settings. To add the encoding file, also called CCI, click on the Add CCI button and navigate to the location of the encoding CCI file or XML file on your system. Adding the file might require to enter a password if chosen the CCI format. Once added, a list of all available dynamic fields appear that were entered in the encoding file. Link each of the dynamic fields to one of the columns in the project. Link ID to the ID number first name to the corresponding column, and so on. Once completed, click on the second tab titled Associated Card Designs and select the card design that you wish to associate with the encoding file. You can configure different encoding files for each of the card designs you have in your project. You can also choose to link one encoding file to multiple card designs. Once this step is completed, click the Save button. You are now ready to start producing encoded smart cards. As a final step, select a record that is linked to one of the card designs that you associated your encoding file with. If you choose to print, the card will automatically be encoded and printed.